The Reverend William Lawson has made an incredible difference in our city of Houston. And the city of Houston, of course, is incredibly important to Rice University. Both reflect the diversity of our city and our country. And the Reverend William Lawson, his story is a legacy that is important to our students as well. His legacy of advocating for justice, of bringing diverse peoples together, and forging a way forward, that's what we want our students to know about. And so this was an important opportunity for us both to honor the legacy of the Reverend William Lawson and an opportunity to, to do what we do best, which is to teach our students and to teach them about history and what to learn from our history and about the fight for justice in our city and our country. And we think this will be an inspiration for many generations of Rice students. People decades from now, maybe even hundreds of years from now, will see this marker and they will remember. And I'm grateful for that. If there's anything that I'd like for my legacy to be, it is for the different cultures of, of humankind to get to know each other, to respect each other, if possible, to love each other. And this is largely what this legacy is. Rice decided several decades ago that it wanted to be available to people of all cultures. So right now, Rice is open to the students of all backgrounds and all cultures and all economic levels. That says a great deal about Rice. And the fact that, that Rice gave me this, this park means a great deal to me because it does say a lot about whatever legacy I would like to pass down from me. Well, I hope that generations of students will look him up and see what he did to deserve such a hallowed spot on the campus here. And we'll begin to appreciate the fact that this campus, like so many other places around the city, uh, changed because of him and because of people like him. Uh, I think that is very moving. And uh, when it's your dad, you don't really think about how special they are. It's only through the vision of other people that you realize what a big difference he made. But, you know, during the 60s, when this campus was as segregated as virtually any other institution in town, he was making some quiet changes. And so it makes me very proud to know that uh, they will get a chance to learn about that and appreciate just how monumental a change it was. My dad is a scholar, and so part of what this represents for me is the scholarship that it celebrates of his. It's not just what he did, but it's how he did it in a way that allowed people of all ilk, you know, uh, the biggest of the business leaders, the greatest of the politicians, and the people who lived, you know, hand to mouth, barely able to make it work, and brought them all together to be able to secure some things in Houston that no one else had done. We thought it especially appropriate that this grove is the location of the artwork mirrored by Jami Plenza. That work which shows two figures that look like they're in conversation. The skins of those two figures are composed of the letters of eight different alphabets from the languages of diverse cultures around the world. We thought in many ways that symbolized also the work of the Reverend William Lawson, his ability to bring people together of diverse backgrounds. So in every respect, we thought this grove located at the very center of our campus, at the heart of interaction among students and faculty and staff with the work, artwork by Plenza. That was the ideal location to honor him and his legacy.